Okay, so we're gonna build our earth box. We're using a Rubbermaid Roughneck uh, tote. One of the reasons I'm using a Rubbermaid Roughneck tote is that when you cut along the, uh, the inner edge in here, it'll fit exactly on the bottom. So you don't have to worry about making templates, uh, that sort of thing. You wanna use a very, very sharp knife. And what we're gonna do is, just gonna start on the inside here. Doesn't have to even be a perfect cut. We're just gonna go all the way around. Like I said, you don't have to be perfectly straight. Just cut it. Okay, and we're done. And that's gonna fit in the bottom. Now on to the next step. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make the uh, cup for the wick. I've got a little tool here that I bought off of eBay that I've had for quite some time. It uh, basically is used for toner cartridges for making a hole in the plastic uh, in order to refill them. But you can use a hole punch, a drill, use whatever you want, scissors, an X-Acto knife, just be careful whatever you're gonna do. And the idea here is we're just gonna make some holes in our cup. I got these cups at the dollar store. As you can see, we're just gonna make some holes. The purpose of this cup is you'll see later when we assemble it's got to hold the earth in and allow the water to get to the earth so that it'll wick up and water our plants doesn't matter what size you make the holes if you have to use smaller holes that's fine just make more of them again the idea is for the water to be able to uh, get to the soil that will eventually be in here almost done And there we go, that's our wick that we're going to use for our uh, earth box. Go out and get yourself a five foot of inch and a half PVC pipe and mark it off every two and a half inches for about 16 pieces and that'll leave you about 20 inches left at the end for your, uh, for your periscope where your water is going to go into the box. So cut those, use whatever you want, a hacksaw, chop saw, safety first and uh, then we'll continue. Okay, so here's your 16 pieces that are cut. They don't have to be exact same size, uh, but you know, roughly two and a half inches. And when you're done that, you'll have the extra piece, which is for your snorkel. And that's all you need. That's one five foot piece of inch and a half ABS. The cost of that from Home Depot was $5.89 at the time of filming this. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at our top that we cut out previously. And what we have to do is we have to trace out a few holes that we have to cut out. These are for our wicking cups. This is something that I've added. Uh, so we're going to just draw a rough circle around here. For us to cut them out. Like that. And what I did was I basically measured. We're two and a half inches deep here. So I took two and a half inches here. I cut it so that we know the size, because it's just gonna basically sit in there like that and go down to the bottom, which is what we wanna do. And because it's a tapered cup, that's why we cut it, so it'll just sit down at the right height. So we're gonna do two of those. We're gonna do uh, one at that side, and then we're gonna do another one down at this end, one at each end, just like the real earth boxes. So we're gonna draw just a rough circle here. That's fine. Now we're going to cut that out. And then we're going to cut out for our snorkel. It's going to go on this side here. Try to get it in the corner. Again, we're not building a piano here, so it doesn't matter if you're exact or not. Close counts. And we'll cut all these out, and then we'll come back. Okay, so we have our holes cut out now for our, uh, our weeping cups, and our hole cut out for our snorkel here. What we have to do next is make the holes for all the rest of the drainage and for weepage as well. I'm going to use a half inch drill bit. You can use a smaller one if you want. If you use a smaller one, you're going to have to make more holes. And believe me, there's going to be a lot of holes you're going to have to make. Uh, so if you use a smaller drill bit, you'll have to use make more holes. That's why I'm using a half inch. I wouldn't use bigger because we don't want all the earth just to fall out. Uh, and I found that with a half inch, the earth still stays in nicely at the top. So I'm going to make a few holes. You want to work on a wooden board here because uh, it'll make it easier when you're going through. 
You can draw a grid on here to make it all nice and even, but the roots won't know the difference, so I wouldn't get fancy. Uh, just drill it as, you know, as close as you can, as straight as you can, as many as you can. And then uh, I'll do a few just to show you what I'm doing, and then we'll come back. Okay, so we're ready to assemble our uh, earth box. Uh, I'm using a miracle Grow all-purpose potting mix. Uh, it says it's good for uh, container gardening as well, which is good. Uh, miracle Grow will also have the fertilizer pre-mixed, ready to use in there, rather than having to uh, start mixing your own uh, bone meal or, or uh, other stuff in there. It's got a good mixture of loam and uh, peat moss and all the right uh, mixtures that you're going to need for container gardening. So I suggest you use this. It cost me $12.89 a bag, and uh, it's a 56.6 .6 liter, or for you American people, that's 21.4 pounds. Um, and one bag is good for uh, two containers, so half a bag per container. So you really get your money's worth. I've taken our uh, pieces that we, our two and a half inch pieces that we've cut, I've arranged them in the uh, bottom of the earth box, uh, sort of like this. Uh, you can arrange it any way you want, but this will leave uh, space for our two uh, cup wicks and our snorkel as well. And now I'm going to take our uh, cut piece and I'm going to put it on. So here we have our finished cut piece with our holes. We're just going to basically push that down into place, like so. And like I said, when you cut the top, it doesn't matter if you're... Uh, if you're exact or not because the sides are going to fold up nice make a nice uh, Make a nice seal you can see I had to cut a lot of holes and that's half inch holes I'm also going to take our Cups that we made previously that I showed you how to do and those are going to sit nicely just in there like that Make sure they're in the bottom and we take our snorkel and Our snorkel is going to fit there and that's our feeding tube I've made it slightly higher than the box because as your plants grow you want to be easy want it to be easy to get to. So my next step is to put the earth in. Okay, so the first thing we have to do here is we have to pack those cups. So we open up our bag of earth here. Put in the cups. Pack it in there nice and tight. Pack it in nice and tight. It's nice that this earth is already a little bit moist. Okay, I'm just gonna lift this here up a bit. There we go. Okay, so our two and a half inch supports are down there. That's gonna give us a reservoir for the water, and uh, the holes aren't too big. The earth is gonna go in nicely in there. So now the, what's left to do is to fill up the earth box. As it's coming out, it's in thick clumps. Just break it apart and fill it on up. Go back to our white pencil here. This is a furniture touch-up pencil. I found that it works the best. And what we have to do is we have to make a drainage hole for uh, the water. So if it gets too full, it'll flow out. Now, if you use, if you're in sunlight, you can see actually where to make it because you can look on the inside and see where the low point is but you know you're two and a half inches you're going to drill a hole right there a small hole so that when the water fills up when you get to the top it'll spill out uh, that's 12 bucks you can build your own earth box another 12 bucks for your your earth so half of that so under 20 bucks you can build yourself your own earth box they sell for uh, genuine earth boxes sell for about 60 to 70 dollars each the guy in Canada was a little crazy he wanted 80 dollars to ship one so $150 per earth box. I think you can definitely make one yourself for around 20 bucks. And that is your Canadian Rubbermaid Roughneck Earth Box.